welcome back. Today I have another anthropology DIY video for you guys since you loved the last one so much. If you missed that video, I'll have a link for it at the end of this video as well as in the description box down below, so be sure to check that out. I know a lot of you guys like super easy and affordable DIYs, so I did try to get everything I could from Dollar Tree aside from a few staples like paint and glue, and I honestly had a hard time picking which one of these is my favorite. It's a toss-up. I honestly feel like the last one I almost would pick as my favorite just because I feel like it made such good use of like really simple, easy, inexpensive items to just create something that looks so unique and so high-end. I'm really proud of that one and love how it turned out. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it and let me know in the comments which one of these is your favorite. Also feel free to leave any video requests that you may have for me as well. I always read all of the comments and let's get started. So for the first one, I was inspired by this basket on the Anthropology website. I thought it was so pretty and I decided to give it a try using this planter from Dollar Tree along with some nautical rope. I roughly measured around the planter and then extended it like an extra three or four inches for the ropes at the top half and then maybe like an extra one or two inches for the pieces of rope for the lower half of the basket just because this basket is a little bit wider at the top and narrower at the bottom and you need just a little bit extra rope because it's going to get taken up in the braids that we're going to make. Then I'm hot gluing the ends onto the basket planter braid the three pieces together and then hot glue the braid down in place on the planter. I also wanted to mention that while Dollar Tree has always carried nautical rope recently, I haven't been able to find it there. So I'm going to link the one that I've been buying on Amazon instead. I know the prices can vary, but when I purchased it, the price per foot for the larger size package on Amazon was coming out to be pretty close in price to the one that Dollar Tree was carrying. Anyway, I keep going around like this, just keeping it as neat as possible. And then on this side, I was a little bit short. So basically I just cut the next three ropes a little bit longer and started my braid where this one left off and then just continued on with my braids. Once that was done, I wanted to do the handles and I did them two different ways so you can do whatever you like best. First of all though, roughly just lay out your rope to see how big you want the handle to be and then leave an extra maybe one or two inches or so just so you'll have room to braid the pieces together. Now you can do a braid and glue it on here but I did that and it looked too small to me so I ended up doing a second braid and I glued that one on top of the first braid which made it a little better although I think I preferred to to actually cut six pieces of rope for the braid and have three sets of two. Getting them all glued on to start was the biggest challenge and basically what I recommend is just glue two pieces together on there and then glue two more on top and then two more on top of that. And I just held all of that in place for a second and let it dry and then I started braiding. Once that's all finished, I used a lighter to burn off the threads. And can I just mention, it also actually helped make it look a little bit neater when I went to paint the lower half of the basket as well, just not having quite so many threads and fibers sticking out. Obviously you could dip the pot in a bucket of white paint if you happen to have that on hand, but most likely, like me, you probably don't. So you could try painting this with the white acrylic paint from Dollar Tree. I think you'd probably go through a lot of it though, if you want, um, or you could tape it off and and spray paint the lower half totally up to you I actually decided to use white chalk paint which I'll have this one linked down below for you but chalk paint is a little bit thicker and it fills in the spaces better so I think that that's probably gonna make it look the closest to what they call a cement dipped basket which is what anthropology is selling and there you go once it's dry you can add a plant or something like that just use it to store some little items in whatever you like but i think this turned out so beautiful The next one's really simple and I feel like some people are gonna love this and some people are not. It was too simple of an idea for me not to share it with you guys in case this is your style or if you're making it for someone who would love it. I almost feel like this looks like something that would be really cute like a bird's nest and something really cute for spring or for Easter. And I wanted to show you guys because for just a few dollars, just take one of these wire baskets from Dollar Tree along with a couple packages of raffia ribbon that they carry. You can remove the handle on the back 
basket very easily and then cut pieces of raffia that are like cut like two three four pieces or so make a loop with them and weave them through pull them back out hopefully you can see what i'm doing here we're just tying knots in the loops of the basket with the raffia and this is basically the same thing that i did with the fringe on that basket that i made in my last anthropology diys video you'll probably need to take your time with this and actually fill every hole if you want to really get the filled in look like the one that anthropology sells but you could easily just like sit down watch a movie catch up on your favorite youtubers whatever it might be and just loop and knot the raffia ribbons and when it's all said and done it should look something like this I didn't even do every loop, so I'm sure yours is gonna come out looking even better than mine, but either way, this looks pretty good actually with some lemons or fruit or something in it. So go ahead and let me know what do you guys think of this basket? Next is the hanging planter, which I thought we could use a hula hoop for, and you can get these in Dollar Tree right now during the spring and summer months, and then also you'll need a planter. By the way, I'm using the smallest hula hoop that they carry, but if you want to go with one of this larger planter here from Dollar Tree, I was thinking that you could drill two holes on either side. You could put the hula hoop through that and connect it. I was also thinking of what to do, like if you don't have a drill and you're like, well, Rebecca, I don't have a drill. I can't make this project. So what I came up with is you can take something like this little Easter basket that has the holes in it. And I just use some scissors. You could probably use a box cutter too. Just be really careful and cut out one little section, just enough that you can push the hula hoop ends through there to connect them in the middle and then that's gonna hold it. By the way, I did take off the outer wrapper of the hula hoop and empty the inside contents and then I spray painted it metallic gold. You guys know I keep some of my favorite color spray paints on hand, like black, white, gold, which I always use for different projects. The bucket I sprayed white, and then once everything is dry, I added a styrofoam block to the inside of the basket, and then I reconnected the hula hoop through it. Dollar Tree has bunches of ferns as well, which would make a beautiful filler for this wall hanging decor. If you wanna do a live plant though, you might need some extra strong glue to hold the hula hoop together, just to make sure that it's able to support the extra weight. But for something artificial like this, it's really pretty, super lightweight and costs just a couple dollars to make. For the next one, it was a really tough decision. I felt like all of these DIYs were pretty easy, affordable, and pretty good dupes for the anthropology one, so it was hard to pick a favorite, but this one honestly turned out even better than I expected for how easy it was to make, so it might be my favorite. You can use a sturdy little wood or plastic like square or rectangle piece. We're going to be painting it anyway. If you can find something like that in Dollar Tree, I wasn't sure what to use. I ended up just using this one that I got for $2 at Home Depot, but you could even use an extra scrap of wood lying around. If you have anything like that, any leftover pieces of wood from another project, feel free to repurpose something you might already have. And I took the wooden pole from one of the Dollar Tree plungers and I did use scissors to cut the end because the wood was like a little bit warped and uneven, but if you have sandpaper, that would be perfect. Or hopefully you get one that's already even on the end. And then I glued it onto the wooden rectangle. I wanted the glue to dry and hold quickly. I just used hot glue. I also used one of these jumbo clothespin clips out of the six pack that Dollar Tree carries and also one of the shower curtain holder loops out of the package they carry as well. I took the metal piece out of the clip so I would have two separate pieces and then positioned them separately on each side of the wooden pole and at that height I wanted them to be based on the vase that I was using. I also made sure that they weren't quite touching the vase so this way I can take the vase out if I have real flowers in here that way I can change the water in it or whatever. And once I glued these in place I also used hot glue to attach attach the shower curtain ring. I made sure that I connected the little hook part on it and then glued that right onto the wooden dowel in the back here. Once the glue dried, which only takes a few minutes with hot glue, I used some brown hammered effect spray paint that I have. Obviously, you can make this whatever color you prefer. Out of the ones I had on hand, this one looked closest to the anthropology one. Again, I'll try to have everything I used linked down below for you guys in case you're looking for any of these same items that I used, including 
including these flowers, which I actually cut off of a bunch that I purchased on Amazon. Anyway, I am in love with how this one turned out and how beautiful it looks on my sideboard buffet over here. My husband and daughter thought this one was going to turn out so bad, and they were pretty much blown away by how good and high-end this actually turned out looking for just a few dollars. Thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and let me know. And if we can get this video to 3000 thumbs up, I'll do another anthropology inspired DIYs video for you guys. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you soon in the next one. Bye.